Balancing systems are one of the challenging problems in control field. There are a lot of systems, example inverted pendulum and ball on beam system. The ball on plate system are a prompted version of ball on beam system. This motion control system consists of three main parts. First the ball on plate, the setup, the control system and the servo motors. So basically ball on plate system is a non-linear and a unstable system. It has two degrees of freedom which means it can move in x and y direction. The objective is to balance the ball in a predefined position in a plate. In my case I have selected the center point of the plate as a predefined position. So this is achieved with the help of two DC servo motors and a PID controller. So this is the basic block diagram of the system. So there are two different types of feedback. One using a sensor as feedback, two using a image as a feedback. In case of sensor, I have used a 4 wire resistive touch screen and in case of an image, I have used a camera to find the position of the ball in the plate. In this video, we will be seeing on how a touch screen is used as a feedback. These are the basic components of the system. A uh, 4 wire touchscreen is nothing but a two potentiometers combined together. So here we use the variation in the resistance to direct the position in the plate. For more detailed understanding about the touchscreen, see the video link given in the description. Full form of PID is Proportional Integral and Derivative Control. A uh, proportional controller is directly proportional to the error, but the output will not settle at a set point. It will have some errors. The integral controller is the function of the accumulated errors and it is used to eliminate the steady state error. And the derivative controller is the function of the change in error. This reduces the peak overshoot problem of the system. Uh, here I have used a rubber ball, it was not heavy enough to apply required pressure on the touch screen, so I was unable to get a proper feedback. So I solved this problem by using a heavier metal ball and now I got a proper feedback and now the system seems to respond well.